Another day, another Rangers transfer news. Ferry Ho, big GW gaming G's here to bring you that. And uh, yeah, we're in the BBC gossip column today. I mean, new news is the place to go, but I feel like if you want, I thought I'd change it up a bit because new news has been a lot and it gives you like all the news articles. But BBC is very um, Rangers heavy today. We'll make feds over in Fog Football and all the other transfer news over there. So go give that a subscribe subscription. We're about. 80 subs away for a thousand subs. We'd love to get to that before the season's starting. But yeah, into the news. Yesterday, we could talk, of course, we talked about Joe Rebo. The Palace are set to open talks with him this week. But now it has emerged that Southampton have emerged as front runners. What does this mean? I mean, I don't know. I mean, he's been linked with literally every Premier League club besides the top six. Literally. I mean, I'd, I'd take Joe Rebo at Arsenal. You can't tell me Joe Rebo's not better than Fred or McTominay. I mean, you, you, you just can't. Um, you know, but it'll be interesting to see where Joe Rebo will end up. Will he stay at Rangers? I mean, he said he's happy. So, I mean, if he's happy, this, that, and that, that, that get him fucking signed down. You know, with so, like, if Rangers are going to, like, if they sign a Rebo Morelos down the contracts, at least, yeah, at least you could kind of forgive them for not being, for not making that many moves in the window so far, but we've done nothing. I mean, all right, all right, Goldson's re-signed. You know what I mean? We gave a, a one-year deal to Arfield and McGregor, who realistically could have been moved on. Um, But, yeah, but in terms of transfers in, Antonio Kulak to Rangers transfer saga is set to be resolved in the next 48 hours of Pernambuco's, um have secured a deal for Fortuna Dusseldorf player Khalid Nari to replace the striker. So they bought themselves a replacement. Well, they're getting that replacement. And then they'll probably let Kulak go. It'll be interesting to see how much this Khalid Nari guy's worth. To be um, perfectly honest, of course, Andy Gorham sadly passed away. We had Peter Shelton come out and say that he was Scotland's only world-class goalkeeper. I mean, you can look at this two ways. Like, he's praising Andy Gorham. But also, like, is there's also like a subtle dig there at Scotland. That's why I've read it. Like, and also, Ali McCoyce goes on to say about how he was at his uh, former teammate's bedside. So uh, that's good, you know. That people were there, because I mean, it's just a shit. It's a shit fucking deal of cards. Cancer, like, nobody can uh, tell you otherwise. And uh, finally, final bit of transfer news. Rangers have rejected a loan bid for French club Aurier for striker Fashion Sakala. I agree with that. I mean, as much as I think Sakala is overrated, he's a good squad player to have. He's a good player to come off the bench. But anyway, guys, that is it for today's transfer news. I might make another fid later because there just seems to be a lot of rumours, but nothing concrete. I mean, when's this Kulak deal going to go through? Only time will tell. Sims last night was linked. Like, what the fuck's going on?